Yeah, I, I uh, actually came across it when I was browsing some online list of elements from science fiction. And uh, the reason why I liked it is uh, basically it's got the right connotations. It's, uh, it's got ether. It's this uh, thing that's sort of up there in, in the clouds. Like originally, the word ether, like in ancient Greece, it would refer to this sort of uh, basically the sky. But then in the 1900s, there was this idea of well, if, wa if water waves travel through water and sound waves travel through air, what do light waves travel through? And people hypothesize that there was this medium in the universe through which light waves travel. It's the sort of thing that's invisible, but at the same time omnipresent. Mm -hmm. And th that's, that idea of this network that's completely in the background but at this, and invisible, but at the same time is, is really sort of the backbone underpinning everything. That's basically what I wanted to capture. So basically,